Okay, so let's talk about image buttons. So in the last episode, we talked a bit about image labels. Now we're going to talk about the button equivalent, which is essentially like the text button. However, it's literally the same as a text button, but rather than displaying text, it displays an image. So let me put my sprint image on here that we had last time. And I'll keep the size like that right now. I'm not going to rescale it. I'll just keep a nice sprint imi um, image. Now, if I add a local script under here, We've got the same events as normal, so if I say local button equals script.parent, then we can say button dot mouse click, enter, down, scroll wheel, you know, we've got everything here that we normally would have with a regular button. Now I'm just gonna say uh, script um game dot players dot local player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed plus equals one every time we click it, I don't know. So now if we hit play, when we start walking, you'll see we walk, we click it, and we just get faster and faster every time we click it. And yeah, that's literally it there. So that's an image, but that's that's literally it for an image button. It's just a regular button, but you can have an image on it. There's not really much more to talk about. Okay, everyone, that's literally it for this video. It was a very short, very quick one. It just shows you what an image button is. Very incredibly quick. Next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to go over text boxes. I hope you found this video helpful, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.